We live in a world where we are in this delicate balance with, with other organisms, organisms other than ourselves. And I think it's really humbling. You know, we, we have the privilege in infectious diseases of looking after people or partnering with people on their journey um, when they're really at, at very vulnerable times in their lives. The Johns Hopkins John G. Bartlett Specialty Practice was started in the 80s at the beginning of the HIV epidemic. And that legacy of that work, plus all of the infectious diseases work at the division, is really quite powerful and um, inspirational for us moving forward with this work. We really see healthcare as a human right, and it's very important to us that all of the medical advances that we've made be accessible to everyone, so that everyone living with HIV can live full, healthy lives. So transplant is truly one of the most multidisciplinary fields that you can possibly imagine. You have the surgeons who actually do the transplant, you have nephrologists, hepatologists, cardiologists, pulmonologists, transplant coordinators, nurses and nurse practitioners. Transplant recipients get tougher cases of just about anything you can think of. Everything from influenza to tuberculosis is likely to be more severe and be harder to clear up than someone in the general population. So we have to find sometimes newer drugs, newer interventions, we have to figure out how to modulate their immunosuppression. You can't lighten up on it too much or they'll have rejection, but if you keep the heavy immunosuppression on board, then they can't fight off the infection. So it's sort of that art of finding that uh, balance. And our transplant clinicians are really, really good at that. We support them, we help them with those decisions. The Center for Entian and Bronchiectasis is a multidisciplinary program that combines infectious diseases and pulmonology to provide care for patients who have a specific form of structural lung disease called bronchiectasis, as well as patients who have non-tuberculous mycobacterial infections. A lot of the patients that we see in the Center for NTM and Bronchiectasis come to us without a complete understanding of the problem that they're dealing with. And so a lot of our initial evaluations of these patients is just educating on the disease process, what to expect, as well as providing reassurance that we're there to take care of them and, and that that's exactly what we're gonna do. OPAT is the Outpatient Parenteral Antimicrobial Therapy Program. Frequently, patients requiring antibiotics that must be given through IV for a long period of time have to stay in the hospital for that therapy. With OPAT, we are allowed to provide them that therapy after hospital discharge, sometimes in skilled nursing facilities and most frequently in the home. We so far have treated over 2,000 patients in this program. We've noticed a decrease in readmissions, a decrease in emergency department visits, and overall the comments we've gotten from patients have just been wonderful. It's really helped them uh, navigate this very complicated post-discharge world. The Baltimore City Health Department Hopkins relationship has been in place for many decades. The reason that that's so important is that the health department is really does provide a safety net service. So many of the patients that we see and we look after are uninsured or underinsured. We see approximately 16,000 patients per year in the, in the two clinics. We provide STI diagnosis and treatment. We provide continuity HIV care. We provide diagnosis and treatment of hepatitis C. And many of the people who take advantage of those provisions would not be able to access care elsewhere. We're very mission-driven within the Division of Infectious Diseases. There are very practical things that we need to take into consideration all of the time. But at the end of the day, what is right for the patient, what's right for the community, is going to be our area of focus. I really love working with these patients. And I also love the research we do to try to make their lives better. Every time I see somebody suffering from an infection that for some reason I'm having difficulty treating, I want to find a better way. And fortunately here, even if I can't do it myself, there are whole teams of people that can help us figure out how to do that. I think that Hopkins is really committed to a broader mission beyond patient care or research or teaching. It's really all of those things combined. 
really allowing this sort of intermingling of, of all of the collective expertises of, of everybody within the Hopkins Institution to really make the, the sum greater than the parts.